Hi, this is KHR Tutorials. This is the fourth video, and um, this time we will be uh, continue on ha where we left. Uh, last time we had installed the um, ranking system. Now we're gonna configure everything. Um, we have defined in the config PHP. Right click and edit with Notepad plus plus. We have defined that the address was localhost, the username was HLXC, the password was HLStats, and the database was HLXCE, and the type MySQL. So, uh, your uh, information here may be different if you're uh, hosting it on your web server with cron jobs and etc. So, um, with, that in all, with that in place, we're going to open a browser. I will be using Internet Explorer, as I said in the previous video. I have problems with Safari and some uh, some software in the system, so I'm gonna hit an open localhost slash hlstats x. Hit enter. Let it chew on it. I don't actually know why mine is uh, that slow. Uh, when I do it directly in Mac or on my uh, Windows PC, it's just like opening Google. So anyway, we just let it chew on it and. Then we'll see how far we get. So, now we have it. So, here. And then it says that the F update folder wasn't created um, and wasn't deleted. So, we're gonna head and find the folder called updater here. And we just delete it. Don't need it anyway. So, minimize the root folder again. And then we're gonna refresh the page. Retry. And this is how it looks. Um, there's no servers and anything at, at the moment because we're gonna open a different address. We're gonna enter the administration panel of the HL stats. So, mode admin. This whole link for this I will put in the description also. Um, the default settings here are just admin and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Hit enter and now we're in here. So um, the first thing we're gonna do when we're in here um, is actually to start um, the HL stats if you want to to check if it's using the right right ports. Uh, you can do that if you want. I won't uh, do that because I know we gotta test it in at the end, and I have set this up just like the real server, so I know it's working. Anyway, um, after we logged in, we're gonna hit HL HL stats X C settings, and um, you can change these if you want. Site UL, I will change that to localhost slash HLStats X. And uh, here we can, you can write your email address. I'll just write admin at localhost. And show banner on all pages if you want, just to have some. And um, now we're gonna find GeoIP data and Google Maps settings. And for show features requiring GeoIP data, we select show and show Google World Map and uh, Google Maps region. We're gonna select the region we are in. I am in Germany, no, sorry, Denmark. So I will select Denmark here. And um, the type here should be hybrid. You can select if you want. I just select hybrid default settings. And um, GeoIP lookup through a binary file should be what you select here. And um, you can just go through the rest of the settings if you want and hit apply. And now we have uh, this part done. Um, next thing we're gonna do is go back to the general settings here. Here, just click this again to make it disappear, and then we're gonna hit games. And um, now we're gonna hide all the games we don't want. So um, 
I just only need Counter Strike Source, so that's the one I'm going to uh, unhide. You can delete all the other games if you don't want to have them. So uh, hit apply, and again, just click the games to make it disappear. And uh, you can make a lot of other nice things in here. I won't go to them. So anyway, next thing we're gonna do is on the game settings, we're gonna click the game we just selected, Counter Strike Source, and we're gonna hit Add Server. And uh, the server IP address should be the IP address of your server. Don't write localhost here. This is for um, for this, the Perl file to communicate with the web server. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do, if you don't know your IP address, is gonna find it out that you do it by opening command prompt and writing ipconfig. Hit enter. My IP address is ten two hundred eleven fifty five seven. That's when I go in here. 10, 211, 55, 7. And my server port is the default 27015. The server name will be Parallels Testing Server. Just for testing purposes. Or maybe I should just write the real server name here. So, server will go in here is KH Gaming. KH Gaming Systems CSS 24/7. So, and the remote console password. This is what we set up in the server CFG. So you don't, if you don't remember it, uh, you can just open your C drive, your Valve folder, your Server One folder, Orange Box, C Strike, CFG, and Server CFG. Right click and edit with Notepad plus plus. Aircon password one two three four one two three four. So that's what we're going to put in here one two three four. Public address for the server. Um, as it says here, uh, is what you have to want to show to users. Um, this if you if you have uh, server dot k dot k k h gaming dot com or whatsoever you can write it here. So. If you leave it blank, it will just show the IP address um, when you right-click on the server and show server info. So, admin mod. Uh, that's something I should have told you when before setting up. We need an admin mod. Um, you can use source mod or many admin. I will use source mod, and then we hit add server. And then you can put your admins in here. Uh, that will be put in by uh, Steam ID you know steam underscore id and s long number just configure as you want and hit apply and um, next thing we're gonna do is edit some things on the server so um, we don't need this anymore and uh, quit ip config also Next thing we're gonna do is actually open the server folder. So Valve, Server One, Orange Box, C Strike, CFG. This file we're gonna use now you probably may have not have in your uh, server. If you have followed this tutorial from the very beginning um, and not have made any modifications at all. So um, we will need a file called autoexe.cfg for auto execution. Um, again, we we'll create that by using Notepad. Uh, I have made the file already, so I'll just show you what to write in it. Uh, so, again, open an empty file. Um, and you're going to write this in here. Uh, there is, uh, the code is actually pasted in. Uh, the guides at HSLAS form. So if you don't want to write this, uh, you can just take it from there. And there, are also some description on what to what the, the each line does. So uh, anyway, log on. That turns the log function from super logs on, which makes the ranking system able to uh, yeah do what it's doing. So and uh, here it will delete 
uh, all previous log destinations and this is the IP address of your server it should be standing here and uh, that's for the Perl file so this is done you can just save it and this will be used in the event scripts tutorial later so for uh, run running each script and um, next thing we're gonna do is um, leave this just go back to C strike and then we're gonna open this HL stats again and uh, we're gonna open source mod and then we have two things plugins and scripting so we're gonna uh, head into the C strike add-ons folder we're gonna hit source mod and uh, then we have scripting and plugins these two folders just drag them onto here hit yes and yes and yes and uh, now it has merged everything so last we're gonna do is uh, this is script file we don't need that we need the smx file here uh, that we're gonna drag uh, onto the plugins folder so now uh, we have super logs and everything installed um, I will. You will be able to see the server if you have your server running, and you have if you run the CMD file we created in the scripts folder in our root of the C drive. So I will show that in um, the review tutorial or the re review video um, when we had done setting everything up. So um, that was it for this time. So. Um, I will again say thanks for watching and if you like my videos subscribe I will make a lot more videos um, so anyway if you have any questions on the on Counter Strike's uh, server I cannot answer them all but I can give you some links to places where there are people who can answer a lot of your questions so again thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video